Come get ready with me. I'm getting ready for Pride March and I want to tell you a bit about my transition while we do it. It's actually really strange because I actually never talk about my transition in depth online, but I'm very open about being trans. It's just that I've never kind of had the opportunity to kind of go into a little bit of depth. All right, now I'm just gonna be using some Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin to just kind of like go on top underneath this. Um, and also bear with me if I'm speaking a little bit quiet, it's 6.30 in the morning. So um, I'm exhausted. I guess I'd kind of like this story to start where I think I first noticed that things were just a little bit different for me. And that would start in prep. Now, if you're not Australian, you probably wouldn't know what that is, but it's basically like your very first year of school, um, like beginners. And I just, I remember walking around with my friends and I remember this specific thing and I don't know why, but I just remember thinking to myself, why am I not like these people? Why do I not feel the same as them? Now, I was also going to like a Christian like a private Christian school at the time I wouldn't suggest that to anyone now also a lot of people think that my parents were always really accepting and that's just simply just not true you gotta remember that like nine to ten years ago there was no information on being trans out there and the information that was was just fucked up you could say so when my parents were looking for things to kind of explain what was happening to their child there were all these like frightening words coming up and it was like my parents were intimidated by it. At the start of year four, my Christian school decided that because I started to speak more openly about my feelings, they were going to put me in conversion therapy. Yes, sadly that is still a thing in some Australian schools. Now I was kind of told like you're not supposed to tell your parents about this. But then again, I was also eight years old, so I don't really care what they kind of said to me. I ended up telling my parents anyway, thankfully. And as you could imagine, my mom lost her shit. Now after that and a couple other incidences that had happened, I left that school and I started at a new one, but as Evie. Now starting at this new school, I wanted to just come in and be me. For the first time in my life, I had never kind of lived as myself and got to just kind of exist as a female and i really wanted to just try it out so going into the new school i didn't tell anyone that i was trans which turned out to be quite difficult because apparently um people already knew who i was but i spoke with my parents about it and the best decision that we came up with is that if you just own it who the hell cares come back for part two please